Hey gang, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'm Rufflehog the Third, and uh, you know, we're here. We done did the thing. We stopped the uh the bad girls. Um, we took back the stone slab, and Proto Cynthia Volo is uh here congratulating me. But hey, before we continue on, make sure you go follow me over on uh Twitch, twitch.tv slash for uh bleh, twitch.tv forward slash rafflehog the third. That's the third, spelt with three eyes in the Roman numeral way. Links are both in the description and in the pinned comments section. Let's get right into this. Good work. Very good work indeed, Raffle. You got the fragment back safe and sound. I'm aware of Kalaba's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old-fashioned, and so on. But she's given the Pearl Clan all she has ever since she was young. She lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, trusting in the guidance of Almighty Sinnoh. I don't think that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. Rather, I think she loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm her Saluna's frenzy, Raffle. A raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. Alright, well, let's, uh... You know what? Before anything... Let's actually go ahead and heal up my team. That should be fine. Alright. Let's see if we can quell her Saluna. Or if Kalaba will even let me. Oh, so you've come to bother me again. Well, come as often as you'd like, but it won't change my mind. Uh, those three bandits. What? You went and retrieved the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're that easy to calm a Saluna, hmm? If possible. I'll admit I didn't expect anybody else to truly care for a Saluna. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. And there we go, good as new. Oh shit, it's a known language. All loves, all lives, All lives. Oh, yo, this was, this was the message we found in the Salasin Ruins in, in Diamond and Pearl. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. Yeah, let me read what it says. All lives such other lives to create something new and alive. Yep, that's the same message. It's the same. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other, like how you helped retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinnoh's guidance. What is your name then, boy? I see. Raffle. Please lend me your strength so that we may help Ursaluna. It's true that Ursaluna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to his normal state if we can give him some medicine. I could never bring myself to enrage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I can engage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Ursaluna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. Okay. Let's, let's push it. Let's push it super hard. And, ooh, that's a ways away. Yep, uh, we're gonna have to try very, very hard to not get distracted. Let's do our best to not get distracted. That's a thing I want to look at. Uh, let's not throw myself into the water. What is this? Oh, yo, holy shit, that's an Alpha Tangrowth. Excuse me. I'm just gonna go around you. There's a Tangela. Hi. Ugh, I wanna catch it so bad, but I, I need to push the story. I want to push the story. We will... What's that over there? Ah, there's so much to look at. <gasps> Y'all not okay. No, we got we got we gotta we gotta stop. Hi. Do you wanna be my friend? Yeah! He wants to be my friend! Okay, Yon Mega. Yon Mega. 
That's gonna be awesome. Um, grab that. What is this? Yo, a Krogonk? Hold on. Gyarados messed with that. Vivichoke, Magical Leaf, Hardy Grains, Caster Fern? What? What wants to end my life? Um, Croagonk, can I, nope, didn't think so, okay, okay, well, let's just go, oh, except for the fact that I definitely want what's ever right there, so foot root, um, let's go ahead and just mess with that. It could be a Geodude. It's probably a Geodude. That's fine. Uh, we can just bulldoze it and call it a day. Critical hit. You defeated Geodude. Yo, I can just walk away. Yo, hi! Hello! I need you! Uh, bu 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 great ball. I need you for research. Nope. Okay. Caught unaware. Uh, yeah, just throw a great ball. Okay, so I think I figured it out. If it's a short hop, it's caught. If it's a tall hop, it's not. Oh, well, no, my theory was just disproven. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Pardon me. There's a person. Let's go ahead and get their request while I'm here. So I recorded you quelled the Lord of the Woods. Do you think it has a new base camp? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go make a new base camp. Setting up the bogged and bog bound camp out uh, of uh, bog bound. Okay. Yeah, let's do this really quick because having another base camp is very good. Oh, Stunky! Hi! Keep your distance if I were you. Just look at those bothers. They're taking up the spot where I was going to set up a base camp. One Stunky would be a headache, but this little group is a full-blown migraine. Uh, I'll drive them off. Just leave it to me. Alright, let's capture as many of them as possible. Let's go, duck. I've got 13 great balls. Hopefully that's enough. They are poison types. <laughs> I hope they don't fart on me either, Uni. <laughs> nope, didn't catch that one. Poison gas. Well. Stunky is looking around. Stunky is looking around. They're being very kind and not ganking my boy. Get in the ball, please. Oh, short hop. There we go. So that's one. Okay. Duck is already poisoned. Can no, wait. Can they reset the poison counter? That would suck if that's the case. Oop, short hop. There we go. That's two of two. Only one more. You, you got this, duck. You got this. I believe. Yo, are there any steel types back in this era? Maybe. That'd be interesting if there weren't steel types at all. 
You weren't kidding. You've got talent, and your Pokemon were so brave, too. I can't believe you handled three Stunky all by yourself without getting smelly. Thanks to you, we can get the base camp set up. Hold on a minute. Sweet. Now we've got a base camp all the way out here. There we go. What do you think? Makes things feel a little safer out here, no? And there's not a whiff of Stunky here, either. Stop by any time. Uh, don't mind if I do. New base camp. Let's go ahead and... Oh, hi, Professor Lavington. Where'd you teleport from? This makes a second base camp for us to use in the Crimson Mire Land. Pop some Stunky will pop by for fun and games sometime, eh? That wouldn't that be a treat. I mean, if you say so. Let's go ahead and grab a quick rest. Just a little bit. Screams with excitement. Welcome back, Lone! Uh, do I need to craft anything? I don't think so. Let me organize. Also, Pokemon! I don't think... Well, you know what? We may need to craft some great balls. Let me craft some great balls super quick. Just to stock up. How many can I make? 21? Yeah! Let's make 21. That That's a good stock. How you doing, Lone? Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, let's, let's just focus. What have you missed? Um, we've, uh, we figured out that Volo is proto-Cynthia. We met three bandits that are proto, uh, Candace, proto-Jupiter, and proto-Bertha, I think her name is? Bertha, I believe, the ground-type Elite Four. And, uh, we saved Cleaver, and now we're about to save, uh, Ursaluna, which is an evolution of Ursaring, most likely. Oh, and Betty White's here, too. Over here, Raffle. Ursaluna is enraged, yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Perho clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. Same tune. Okay. Yo! That's a cool creature! I want it! Now, show your metal to Ursaluna. But remember that Ursaluna is a Pokemon very dear to the Poe Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. Fair enough. Let's go, duck. Uh, that's a level 26 Pokemon? Do I know it's typing? It is ground and normal. Okay. So let's... Okay, so we're actually going to do really good with Ice Fang. So, let's go ahead and Agile Style Focus Energy. No rest for the wicked indeed, Uni. And hopefully this thing doesn't know something that can absolutely decimate Duck. Agile style itself. Baby doll eyes. That kind of sucks. Oh, and it... Oh, Jesus. Um, Ice Fang. Get a flinch or a freeze. One or both. Critical hit. Shit. Let's do it again. Nice! Frostbite is not frozen. Oh! It's like, um... It's like poison. Okay. So, then in that case... I think we go Bionetta. Because we can get the pin missile in there. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to, um... Uh... Uh, chip damage this thing to death. Or, um... D.O.T. this thing. We've got the ice in there. Le you know what? Let me just have a look at what ice thrust by. Any damage it deals with special moves will also be reduced. Oh, very interesting. Well, anyways. Uh... You know what? 
Strong style pin missile. This thing will faint. If not from this, then from the damage over time it's about to take. Baby doll eyes. Okay, that's fine. Hurt by frostbite and by the splinters. One more attack and it will die to frostbite and or splinters. Yup, there we go. Nice. We done did it. That's a lot of levels. Ursaluna, my poor darling, you must be exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you all better. I have a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poison's what's causing Ursaluna's rage, this is sure to calm him down. We'll call it Toxigon. Blah! It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna. You've calmed down now, haven't you? This is all very strange, though. He wasn't glowing. He wasn't really frenzied. Very astute of you, Galaxy Team Recruit. You're exactly right. When you quelled Cleavor's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. But no str such strange light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. And what is this clinging to Ursaluna's coat? It seems like some kind of powder. That girl from the Diamond Clan, Orezu. Now, why did she, of all people, find the need to come and tell me about Ursaluna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Play your Celestical Flute for me, won't you? Oh, we get, we get, oh! We... We get Ursaluna as a, uh, uh, a companion Pokemon to do things? I love. Ursaluna opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. You received the Earth Plate! Mwah! Earth Plate, baby. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of the Earth when used on a certain Pokemon, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Ursaluna is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground! We say that he's digging for treasure even if the treasures might always glitter or gleam. So this is that <whistles> noise that I've been hearing. That's, that, that has to be the treasure indicator. Now go and let your commander know of what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. Brrr. You can now call Ursaluna and dig for treasure. We'll rush towards any treasure he senses in front of him. Press the Y button to dig for treasure when Ursaluna finds a spot that makes him react particularly strongly. You may find something very nice. Oh, check that out. Let's just... Oh! It's Chocobo hot and cold. Can't dig there. Yo, he can just walk up the sides of mountains, though. No. No. Okay, hold on. There is something up here, though. Oh, I'll get a prompt to dig. Okay. It will quell when it's close. Good. There it is. Okay. What did we get? We got... Old verse 9. Okay. Part of a series of old poems that have been unearthed around the Hisui region. Judging from the handwriting, it appears they were all written by the same person. Would you like to read it now? You'll do a little dance when he finds something? Yeah, let's read this thing now. I set the bones of Pokemon adrift upon the river. I let my memories flow on adrift upon the river. And to the ocean they will flow, perhaps around the world to go. 
How many bones and days now gone have I now set adrift from me? How many bones and days to come will I yet set adrift to see? While every gift with which I part takes a sliver of my heart. Rip! That's poetry, baby. Got some iron chunks and a black tumble stone. Well... I suppose... Sludge Mound. I suppose we just head back and try and finish up this story beat then. Okay, Hemingway, geez. Um, yeah, let's talk with the professor. Let him know what we've done. Ruffle, I think you've got something stuck on you. Do I? Oh, hi! What was that? Was that a Pokemon? And come to think of it, Volo did mention that there were carvings that resembled writings on the walls in the Celestian Ruins. But supposing that the Pokemon we just saw is a species of multiple forms, perhaps the carvings are actual likenesses of these very Pokemon. I'm going to add a section specifically for that species in your Pokedex! We have an unknown Dex! Unknown Dex returns! What's this now? Letter-like markings seem to have appeared in this section I've just added. And was that your arc phone I just heard? If your mysterious device is reacting to this new species, I wonder what that could mean. Press the Y button while viewing the cover of your Pokedex to jump to your unknown research notes. By deciphering the crypt and the side of the notes, you can try to find all the unknown items in the region. These unknown possessors may have a serious power that repels Pokeballs containing Pokemon, so you won't be able to battle them, but track them down and catch them all if you can. Oh, very interesting. That's fun. Uh, press the Y button. Okay, so there are hints on how to find each of the unknown. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. No exclamation point. Hold on. How many letters are there in the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. 26, 27, 28. Okay, so exclamation point and question mark are here. Good, good, good. Cool. I will have to sit down and spend some time deciphering these because while I can read English, um, the unknown alphabet is just sort of, it's, it's sort of difficult to read. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and report these tasks. We caught some Pika Mans. Got some money. Meet some observations. Cool. 11 new species. We did not go up in rank. That's fine. Let's return to the village. Um... I don't know if we have enough time left on the camera to, oh, to complete the story beat. So we'll hear what Akari has to say. There you are. You better hurry to the commander's office. Okay, she didn't drag me there. Thank God. Okay, so, um, this is going to have to be the end of the episode. I don't have enough time left on my camera to complete this story beat. Um, so we're going to go ahead and call the episode here and pick it up next time. So, for those of you watching this later on YouTube, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell for continuous notifications. Like the video if you like the video and throw a comment down below. How much treasure have you found with Ursaluna? Have you found any other cool Hemingway poems of any variety? Let me know. I want to find them all. Also, the unknown though? I legitimately, I think unknown is one of my favorite Pokemon just because it's so weird and pointless and I love it. I just love it. Anyways, y'all, um, once again, come follow me over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash rawfahug the third. Link is in the description and in the pinned comment section. And until I see you over here on Twitch or you join me in the next episode, stay awesome and we'll catch you later. Bye bye!